if you clicked on this video hoping for some sort of positivity or to feel a little better about the season, our apologies. So I will be very honest. I don't even want to be making this video right now. Like I am incredibly bummed out. I don't yeah. even know where to really guide this conversation. One thing's for sure. I am not in the mood to make any rational decisions or commentary on this whole thing. Oh, I, I am uh, fired up to make irrational decisions. I'll tell you yeah, that. I mean, yeah, that was a tough one, man. Tough one. This was a really tough one. Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Belford, joined as always by the best co-host in the biz, Adam Mack. This is the walk-off, and I guess after a 162-game season, 28 hours was all it took to dash all that hope and excitement and uh, playoff pizzazz, if you will. I mean, you just you just can't lose a game in the playoffs. You're up 8-1. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's... you... <laughs> Yeah, I, tough, I, you wouldn't think you wouldn't think that this would be something that would be on the list of things you shouldn't do on playoff baseball. But I mean, man, you know what? It's right up there with don't bounce it off the knob of the batter when you're throwing it back to the pitcher. Anybody remembers truly. the Russell Martin game? This is the worst I've truly. felt since that game happened. Obviously, that one had a much better ending. Speaking of endings, Scott, this ending to this season felt worse than last year's end of the season by far by oh, far i never thought i could f feel worse after the way by far looking back ended. on last year re recency bias i am going to obviously claim <laughs> recency bias as we sit here and talk an hour after this all went down like i showered so that my wife didn't see me crying in front of her I, it's a great place to cry is the shower now i'm gonna go out for supper with her and try and pretend like everything's fine and I'm not emotionally distraught and dying within, you know, like I, I, I shouldn't look at that Cleveland Guardians race series and wish that it was like that. Like I almost hey, wish man. we had lost like that, man. Like, could we, could we have lost with some dignity like the Tampa Bay Rays? Like my God. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll get into this on Tuesday, but uh, yes. There's a new bandwagon to be hopped onto. I don't know who to join yet. There's a lot of options out there. I mean, I'm not season's ready to over for the decision. Jays. Yeah. Uh, baseball <laughs> still has a month of good baseball left. I just wanted to acknowledge the fact <laughs> we are going to be here making content throughout the playoffs. And yes. as always, all off season, we have loads of great interviews. If you're new to the channel, uh, Scott and I generally suck at our baseball knowledge and expertise, <laughs> but we do get some pretty sweet guests on this show. So we hit from... way above our weight class when it comes to our guests. And honestly, even just in the last two weeks, the fact that we've got to sit down with Julia Cruz from MLB.com, that we've got to sit down with Ben Nicholson Smith from Sportsnet, that John Gibbons has taken time out of his busy schedule to come and join us for an hour. Like this is all within the last two weeks. Mitch yep. Bannon, head writer for Sports Illustrated for the Blue Jays section. You loads know, of so, players, loads of prospects. Danny Jansen yeah. is going to be coming back. We've chatted with him in the past. He'll be back. We'll give him some time to digest what's happened to him. Uh, he had a great game today, though. But, yes, uh, he did. Big off season ahead of us. Uh, we're going to kick it off with an extra sad mailbag episode. I'm sure we'll both be wearing black. Yeah, put your comments down. Zero. Do what you can. I know if, if you clicked on this video hoping for some sort of positivity or to feel a little better about the season, our apologies. I, I just don't have it in me right now, but we are, like Adam said, going to do content all throughout the off season. Like we had the last two years. Uh, we'll, we'll have some guests with some true insight and uh, I'm Look. sure our tires will be pumped here soon and we'll be excited for the 2023 season, but it's too early for that right now. <laughs> here's a here's a couple quick questions for everybody that's watching All this. Right. For mailbag, let us know what was a, a tougher end of the season this year or last year. Uh, how would you grade this season for the Blue Jays? I mean, home field advantage in the playoffs, but swept in the first round. So success or failure? Uh, John Schneider gonna have a lot of questions to answer uh, with his pulling of Kevin Gossman and handling. 
pitching changes in that bullpen. I still don't really know how I feel, but I'm sure there's a how, lot of how people on you? both sides. So like, let us know in the you... comments how you're feeling about John Schneider, how this game went. Let us know. We're going to get into all that, all your thoughts, all your comments on Tuesday's mailbag. So just let us know. Draw this game up a million times. How do you predict this? How do you completely, how do you predict Anthony Bass absolutely and completely face plant? How, God, how, how you do you expect- predict Bichette and Springer go like face to face in the infield? It, it was a. Like when that happened, I was just like, Jordan Romano comes in for a six out save and, and blows it. Like, I. I I don't have the words right now. And uh, if you watch this far into the video, thank you so much. I think we'll just wrap it up there. We do have a very sad mailbag. I'm sure a a very impassioned mailbag coming up on Tuesday. Let us know who you're rooting for the rest of the way. I don't know if I can hop on that Mariners bandwagon, but uh, hopefully we can add a a, a little bit more insight and a little bit more um, commentary to what just happened here tomorrow night. We're being joined by Sportsnet and 590 The Fans, Ben Ennis. He's going to hopefully uh, shine a little bit of positive light on this. Who knows? 24 hours might not even be enough. But anyways, we'll leave it at that. There you go. It's (laughs) going to be a busy off season. There's going to be lots to talk about. So if you're new here, subscribe, stick around, check out some of our old interviews with uh, Blue Jays players and prospects. And we'll see you guys later. Cheers.